Welcome to another video. Just wanted to say thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, and I'll see you all in the intro. To Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which is about as good as you can ask for. All right, Ragman, get in there, buddy. Red? Removal spell? Oh, DRC. Good. No way, you get delirium on turn one. Okay, I thought the beast upset. I was gonna be upset. I'm upset. Oh, man. All right, let's go Ragavan, Spring Leaf Drum, Shadow Spear. Because I knew we drew the mountain, so there's no point in doing anything else here. Okay, I can just equip through that if I want. Could also not equip. So good. I think I'm equipping. Like, if they burn a removal spell on it, I'm pretty okay with it. Damn. Alright, let's go with basic forest. Uh, Blast is the unique effect. Swifty, sure. You have a Ragavan after all this? I feel like you should not have done the way they did that, but we'll see. I just drew too many artifacts here, I think. We hit like a Tarmogoy if we're gonna be in good business though. Inquisition, not horrible. Black, Inquisition you. Shrapnel Blast or Ragavan. Okay, let's think about this. If I take the rag, they can go Strabnal Blast me down to six, seven, eight, nine. So we go to two. But if I take the rag, if I take the blast and they just dash Ragman, then they're top decking here. I think I take the blast. Blast seems just like the better card here. They could definitely hit something off the top of our deck, but like. I think I'm almost certainly supposed to take the ra or take the blast. Uh, that's a good draw. Oh, they drew a bolt. Ugh. That's good. Bolting me. Did you draw a bolt? Oh my god! Wow, that was pretty good from them. Oh, the Xaxes. Okay. That was just like, I mean, it is what it is. Unfortunate. Uh, okay. EE -E is quite powerful against them. Um, Soul Guide Lantern's fine. I think I'm pretty fine trimming on some of my discard spells. I just like want removal spells here. I think all of these are good. I could bring in Haywire Might. Like, I just don't think it's that bad. <sighs> Trim Lily. This is not the best Liliana matchup. And then we could probably trim a land. I guess we're on the play here, so it's a little bit risky. Let's get rid of a research disc. I think we're going to need that. 
It's almost certainly just like them drawing kind of insane and us kind of not drawing the best. I imagine this is a good matchup, but we'll see. We also just didn't find like a Renin Six, which is probably the best card in the matchup for us. Also, I wonder if like I'm supposed to trim Ragavan. Like they just have like a million blockers for it. I don't know. Ragavan's pretty good in like these red mirrors, you typically at least. Uh yeah, I mean this hand's definitely powerful. Kinda have a we have like way too many options here, which is like a good thing, but it is kind of scary that we have like a million options here. All right, well, I think I know what option I'm taking on turn one here. Although I am a little bit afraid of getting my Ren and Six just dashed on by a Ragavan, but yeah, whatever. I'm a little bit less concerned now. Stop. Bop. And they just have so many ways to deal with this Ren, but we'll see. Hopefully it's not, as long as it's, well, that's kind of annoying, actually. Uh, that's like the most efficient one possible. Galvanic Blast it, sure. A Goyf? Almost certainly just playing Tarmogoyf here. And then next turn, I'll probably Collective Brutality plus Goyf. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we win! Great. Let's go. Let's go. I'm a little bit afraid of, like, the mana for this deck, or for this hand. And leave me alone. God, give me another land. Okay, that solves all of my issues. I think I am grabbing Tomb. I need to turn this music down, holy. Am I grabbing Tomb off of Verdant? I think so. Because then I can Thoughtseize on one, Saga on two, playing, ooh, but then I can't play Heat. Okay, there's no, there's no sequence here that allows me to play Thoughtseize on one, well, I guess I wouldn't want to play Heat on two. I guess I, 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 I'm with this line. I am giving myself the option to play Heat on two, so I think this is the right. Like I can still, you know, discard this, you know, or I can sack this, play Goyf and Unholy Heat. Um, yeah, I'm taking the patchwork. We'll say this Urza Saga is gonna be a problem. I. Pretty certain I actually kind of just want to play. Oh, that's an issue. All right, I'm gonna find basic mountain here and play this. So they're probably forced to make a construct this turn, which will be a Four, wait, one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. So basically next turn we're getting attacked with a seven, seven at the bare minimum, I think, which is kind of awful for us. Maybe we might just be dead next turn, honestly. Let's see, okay, so let's say they make a construct. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's draw our card and Figure out the fuck we are doing. A spring leaf drum. <sighs> okay, so I'm pretty sure our only line is to play Fable, right? One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Uh. I'm afraid, but I think this is the only line that makes sense. I don't think there is another line. All right. 
Let's get this on board. Then we can discard Springleaf Drum and probably this land next turn and hope we can find some removal spells. I'm honestly, what am I most concerned about? Probably this cranial plating and the fact that they can bounce something this turn, which is like pretty obnoxious to say the least. I probably, if they give me the option, I might just take all this damage. No, they're not giving me the option. Are we grabbing Shadow Spear? Shadow Spear would be pretty good. So they could go Shadow Spear, Aether Spell Bomb, Bounce, Tarmogoyf, Equip Shadow Spear, gain six. I'm kind of happy that they aren't playing, they aren't like going for the board with constructs, but I am a little concerned. Aether spell bomb. Okay. Guess I'm double blocking, right? Like when we get to trade, they don't have a board state. I think this is probably the best thing we can do. I'm not saying it's great, but Okay. A bolt. It's actually good. Definitely discarding this land. I mean, I think I am discarding Springleaf Drum. Okay. That is an interesting draw. <sighs> There's no way I'm playing Liliana and ticking up. So, I mean, the better question. I think I need to shock here regardless. Now, the better question is, am I playing a Fable or am I playing... Or am I playing Urza Saga token here? I think I want to play Fable. This gives me a unholy heat on a creature, AKA the Ginger Brute. I can also bolt the Ginger Brute if needed. I think maybe, I don't know. I think this is the right play, but I think there's an argument for like holding up push and heat here. And, or not push and heat, heat and bolt, and then just activating Urza Saga if we need to. But I think I kind of want to develop my mana here. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I will block with my goblin if I am given the chance. Okay, this is good for us. Bolt. Cool. Now, are we drawing? Liliana. Don't need. Don't need that. Yes, let's discard a Lily. Definitely don't need that. Ragaman. Okay, so if I make a construct, I can then go. Ragavan and hold up heat here, so let's do that. Definitely want a shadow spear. If we attack here, we grow the construct, which is like somewhat relevant, but now we go Ragavan and we say go. Through another saga, that's not great. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block with my construct, try and get them to Aether Spell Bomb my construct, and then go for the heat on the Memnite. I think that's the best line. Because what we can do here is if they end up wanting to bounce it to try and kill me, that's fine, I believe. Or maybe they'll bounce something pre-combat, and then it makes my life easier. But I think they're supposed to attack here and give me a chance to fuck up, aka blocking with a construct. They go to bounce it, then I heat the Memnite. They're like thinking a lot here. I'm not sure why. Uh, 
Top monitor. Okay. That means they can't activate Aether Spell Bomb, which I... Oh, that's actually fucking annoying. Oh, shit. Alright, well, we kind of have to do this. It was really annoying, actually. Problem is now we're going to be, like, really struggling to figure out how to not die here. Okay. That kind of works. Um... The problem is I kind of need to... Alright, I guess I'm attacking. Please just let us hit. Let's go. So now I can hard cast a fury. Oh my god, we got lucky as shit. That was like the only sequence. <laughs> that was like the only card that killed two things. Oh, that was a good draw. Perfect draw, honestly. I mean, they got fortunate to hit Thought Monitor into Mem Knight. Maybe I'm supposed to like... I think I might have messed up too that turn. Like, I think I'm actually supposed to trade off with the Memnite with one of my creatures. So it was a 10 power. I would have had the chump block with Ragavan or trade Ragavan plus Construct for it. But I kind of think that's the right call. Sure. Probably going to attach Shadow Spear. We get to Liliana Edict it. Liliana Edict plus... I'm not sure. I think they're gonna equip Shadow Spear. Aether Spell Bomb, that's interesting. Okay, and I guess equip Cranial Plating, yeah. Land would be cool. Inquisition, actually not Horde. Sure. Memnite, not a bad draw. Oh my god. Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess please don't have another ginger brood. I couldn't imagine them having two ginger brutes, but. If they had another ginger brute, what they could have done is floated a mana. Because they know our last card enhanced Fury, so they would have known that they had the clear path to victory. I think we got the dub here. So, okay, Welding Jar, it's fine. We know you got a Cranial Plating, and, and okay. Uh, yield till end step. We get to copy Construct here. I actually think they might have needed to equip Shadow Spear here. Or else, no, I think they're just dead. All right, do we have lethal here? We got to we got to make sure if we're doing this that we're going for lethal. If not, we can try and go for f okay, so let's let's think about this. Okay, so copy here. 5 5 copy 6 6 equip to one of them doesn't really I guess we wouldn't equip to one of these we'd equip to here they take so wait one two that's six six that's yeah okay that's definitely lethal I believe right because they block one of these six sixes take yeah that's way more than lethal okay I guess I should on the end step I should have copied a reflection because then this gives me more big bo big booties yeah but this is just like omega lethal because then there are seven sevens, yeah. All right. Okay. I feel like our opponent played this game horribly. Not gonna lie. 
I'm not gonna, you know, be mad about it, but I do think they played that game pretty bad. Hey, these are definitely good. Soul Guide Lantern, Mischievous Research Disc, Basic Forest. Um, I think Bush is pretty irrelevant in this matchup. Same with Liliana. I think this is pretty good. I gotta pee really bad. Lily might be worse than like High Right Spell Bomb, maybe. Alright, I'm peeing so bad. Ooh. I'm so <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, yo. That hand's so good. Uh, this hand's fucking hell. I guess this hand's okay. Not amazing, but I guess I'm keeping it. I think there is a saga in the hand's actually pretty relevant, so. Like. Urza Saga finds Haywire Might, which is an answer for, like, most of the bullshit that they're doing. Like, if they're on one, like, big payoff, other than, like, if it's Thought Monitors, then we're kind of screwed anyways, but let's see if we draw them. Alright, well, that's a good draw. We can Unholy Heat most creatures that will block and trade. Not a patchwork, though. Oh, well. A good card. Do we draw? <laughs> Cranial plating, spring leaf drum. All right, well, we'll take the plating. It's definitely their... Biggest payoff here. <laughs> Another drum. Ah, ornithopter, too strong. Ooh. I think I would rather actually just unholy heat this. I can hard cast a fury later. Alright, haywire might shadow spear say go. We're the affinity deck now. <laughs> We're doing the affinity stuff. Um, sure. We can answer that. If you want to block, that's fine. Or don't. <laughs> Thought cast? Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Uh, we milled our... Where's our basic... Oh, I took out the basic forest. I forgot. I was like, where's my basic forest at? That's actually so fantastic that we got their thought cast. I'll take a little draw too for one mana. All right, and that's the game. That was pretty easy. Silent clearing. Esper fucking Sentinel, man. <sighs> okay, let's just say go. Fury will just clean up this board. Finally, some Jund. True. Play Pure Steel Paladin. I'd be pretty fine with that. Stone Forge. Sure. Oh, Eternal Fall Yields. Yield to the end step. What are we getting here? Colossus Hammer. Uh, okay. 
Honestly, I might pitch cast this fucking run six at this point. I kind of think I'm pitching run in six. I don't really think I need it that bad. This might be absolutely wild, but. I think I'd literally rather just. Give her Sigarda's aid. I think I need to take the aid. I just don't really want to, but. But I would genuinely like to take the giver, but <clears throat> don't think I'm really given that option. Stoneforge Mystic. That was a good draw. Cauldra. No, Reality Chip Fudge. That's a good one. Mm. All right. Oh, they're drawing good ones. It's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, but it's okay. Drawing good ones. Oh, yeah, they got the sword, equip sword. Well, I think we're dead, to be honest. Them drawing the sword was kind of nutters. A Ren? Yeah, it's not gonna do anything at this point. My god, more Ren. Thoughtseize or Ragaban? Alright, we're just dead. We can't beat that. They just got too... They just did too much. They just did too much too early. Alright. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Don't love Soul Guide Lantern. Don't love Lily. Don't love Ragavan. Uh, don't like Mistress Research Disc or whatever the hell that thing's called. Take out the forest. Um. Anything else we need? Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I want to trim Thoughtseizes for more Ragavans. I actually don't like, so many people don't like Ragavan in this matchup, and I think it's fine. I don't think it's like the best card in the world, but like, it trades off with like an artifact, it trades off with something, right? Like, Ragaman's just, like, too powerful of a card for me to fathom sideboarding out in, like, almost any matchup. I'm not sure, like, if there is a matchup where I'm like, eh, I don't really like the card. I think I'm just gonna, like, hope that they don't draw a creature here and that the Saga just doesn't do anything. And even if they play a creature, I can kill the Springleaf Drum in response so, like, they don't get to make a Construct. Mmm. Sure. Real name Haywire my whatever. Uh I guess in case they have a second needle, I'm gonna activate my saga. Like I'm not I know that's highly unlikely, but like I don't know. I don't want that to happen. I mean, if it does happen, I don't really mind using one of my treasure tokens to fatal push something. Okay, their hands one slap teeth, hammer. I mean, like, I think this just, like, does a great job of, like, showing you, like, why the fuck Ragavan's just a stupid card in this deck. Like, I just couldn't imagine... Like, why would you not want this card? Like, even though, like, it doesn't do that much in this matchup, it's done, like, basically... It's just been a mana dork for us. But, like, this card's just stupid.
card is just dumb. Ooh, I could play a Sword of Fire and Ice. I'm not going to, but I could. I don't think there's any outs for them. I mean, it'd probably be like Pure Steel Paladin, but that's probably it. I still want to, I kind of want to play these Ragavans. Maybe like three is more reasonable than four. I'm going to draw. I'm kind of fine doing this. All right. Throw this banana away. I don't know how good Ren is. Like, Ren to me seems questionable at best. But then again, I am playing Besage you, so like it does seem a little bit better in that context. But can I just get like a Witherbloom command rather than this? Hmm. Hey, Wormite's pretty good. Ragman's good. We just need to draw land. If we draw spells, that's also okay. I know that we don't have a green source, but Ragavan. Oh, you'll find us. You'll be our green source, right? Nothing. Perfect. Found a green source anyway. And like, even something like Stoneforge Mystic, I'm pretty happy trading, right? Because I think the the worst case scenario, they get something like whatever. I don't I don't think I really care about this. Removes a creature. Oh, EE -E is quite good. Yeah, we are blocking. I was just kind of curious about that. All right, let's go haywire mine. Bop, bop, sure. Hammer. They can't kill us next turn with Ink Moth, right? I am like 100% on that, right? They could play Pure Steel. Active, yeah, no, there's no killing us. So let's play our Fable out. They would have to have something else on the battlefield here, and I think we're okay. Oh, I don't want to concede the game. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. They would have to have something else on the battlefield. I'm going to name Urza Saga. Then we can E on one. Unless, they have, unless they're just like five head and name E here, but... Yeah, that's good for us. Little do you know that I don't care about that. Yeah. Rin. Okay, let's discard. Yes, I think Landgoyf. Oh, Besaju. Hello there. Hello there, Besaju. Ren and six, tick up. E, e on one, pure steel, don't care. Sure. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Some tap it to attack. Up E. Uh, I think I'm just floating a mana here. <clears throat> um. So fat. All right.
Pure steel, sure. I think I'm gonna besage you this on the instep. I won't do it right now. Just makes my life easier. Ugh, Heartland. All right, yep. Cool, 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 cool. Kinda don't think I can keep that. Now it's kind of the opposite problem. I don't think I can do better than that too. Oh my God. Ew. All right, sure, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean, all right. Just kind of like hope, I guess. Hand was not very good. I think all those mulligans were like correct. I mean, that seven card hand, I just can't keep in a million years. It doesn't have a one mana interaction spell in modern, which is like kind of just awful. Like if there was a thought seize or something, I would have kept it. But like it was all two mana and three mana spells. So like, I just, I can't do that. The six, I don't even remember what the six was, but I know the five was just almost unplayable. And this is our only, this is like literally the only hand that's actually had like a decent curve out, right? But maybe we can somehow pull ahead. Maybe running six is just that card. So it would have been like, even a five card hand would have been like insane. Like if we would have got to keep the Urza Saga there. But I, I don't think I can reasonably. I'm probably going to concede if they play a Mistress Bobble. All right. And. <laughs> Spell Piercer. This. I mean, I think this is just generic Ragman shit. And they just had like a horrible hand. It is what it is. One, two different, three different types. All right. Well, we needed all some spells, but this is like kind of an okay position. Like if they're EIing here, uh oh. They can go on holy heat. Yeah, this game's over. If they unholy heat and kill us, like, uh oh, well, uh, they should get delirium here, hundred percent. This is just the just guy variant. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up. Got to know that that's what they're on. We just drew another land. Oh my god, <laughs> we're not drawing a spell. <laughs> that's funny. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. Endurance is good. Spell bomb is good. Um, I think I like terminates here. Uh, Hammer might's kind of poo poo. I don't know about that. Okay, Lily can get trimmed. I think discard spells are pretty decent. I think these Furies can go too. Actually, Lily's, yeah, yeah I think two Lily's fine. I can't command, it's a little slow. Maybe I shouldn't pee on 24 lands. <laughs> Just drawing way too many lands there. We have 19 one drops and I just did not see a hand with one of them. It's funny like that their start, like that seven card hand would have been perfectly fine. But like, I think in the dark, I'm never keeping that like in a million years. Maybe I'm supposed to bring an EE. -E. This is like a way to deal with Ledger Shredder a little bit more efficiently, but we have Lily's Terminates. 
push and heat to deal with it kind of efficiently, so. And like Rin plus Bolt and Bolt technically deals with it, so. No, I think it's fine. All right, down to six. Right, I just don't think I can keep this hand. I guess I'm keeping this. Holy shit, this hand's horrible too. Ugh. And maybe we draw like a spell that we can cast here. Uh, I don't really care about DRC, especially when we have an endurance in our hand. Now, granted, we can't cast the endurance, but that's not really the, the worst thing in the world. We'll get there eventually, right? Just yield to the end step here. Do you have a fetch land? Oh, they're probably gonna get delirious here. Yeah, they're delirious. They should bobble once. They even have a land. Wow, that's pretty good. Even had a land. It's a good draw. Now we can deal with both of these. Pretty good. I think I'm just gonna take the opportunity to kill both. And then if they hit us with a Ragaman, they hit us with a Ragaman. If they play a Breach, we can evoke Endurance. What's up, Dark? Some Dark. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I have six cards in hand. EI Wowzers. Look at this god tier Liliana. I think it's the ending. Why'd they not play? I guess they wanted to hold bot. No, that still doesn't really make much sense. I guess that kind of makes a little bit of sense. Take ending, slam my big ass glyph. Hope they don't top deck a breach this turn. Okay, so their hand is Spell Pierce, Ragavan, Mystery Card. Still holding up Pierce, cool. They were like terrified of us resolving a spell. Mm, no, I have not, but I don't think it's gonna be good there. I don't know, like, I just don't know why I'd play it in there. Like, if someone can like, I've, I've had a lot of people ask me, I'm just like not sure what, what would be like the reasoning behind that. <sighs> Our mana situation's kind of fucked, isn't it? I just like doing this to try and find a land. They shuffled away with their bobble. Kind of feel like I need a land. This endurance is really going to have to help me out real bad. Yeah, I think I want to hit a like a fetch land or something that casts my Ragavan. Or even like a Urza Saga would be reasonable. Just like, I need a land, bro. Like, bad. Give me like a fucking stomping ground, please. 
I would take a stomping ground. That would be like the best card. Or basic mountain. No, never mind. Don't say basic mountain. Fetch land. <laughs> Do that. If I get a fetch land, I'm probably finding stomping ground so I can cast my Ragavan. And I'm doing this before I attack because I kind of want the information of what the heck I'm doing here. <sighs> Guess I'm taking stuck on my end. There's nothing. Hey, good. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect land. Monastery Mentor. I am so fucking dead, bro. I'm so dead. Already dead. Been dead for years. All right, <laughs> give me a, I don't know. I need something to probably kill this or else I'm dying. Ah, yes, the perfect timed, <laughs> the perfectly timed card. Great, perfect. Um. I'm so dead. Just kill me. Mentor's definitely killing me. <laughs> I just, yeah. All right, yeah, they got us. They're, we just, I was just, there's just like no attacking there. I think I just needed to get lucky and hit, as I said, hit like a fetch land or something that deals with <laughs> what are we up against stoneforge mystic deck mm -hmm. the reality chip it's a good one Wait, is this just like hammer with some weird shit in it? Man. All right, let's play Soul Guide Lantern, I guess. Cycle it for a land. Because I kind of do. I think the way we're winning this game is probably. Oh. With running six looping. The sage you specifically. Is that a fantasy? What'd they grab? Chip, yeah. The chipster. God, dude, the mana in this deck is so bad. Oh, every time I play this deck, I'm like, oh, the mana can't be that horrible. It's pretty awful. I even added a, a a land to the build, a fetch land to the build, or no, a, bla a black leaf cliffs to the build, because I was like, I really don't like the way this mana base looks, but I guess it doesn't really change much in the grand scheme of things. Fetch land? Okay, black leaf cliffs is actually at least playable. Uh, Stay with the last of mm. God fucking relic, bro. I hate this card. <laughs> Stop relicing me. It's so annoying. Mm. Oh, fuck. An urge is a deck. God. Yeah, 
god, I'm so fucking dead. Need like a removal spell? Potsies. It does not count. Oh wait, do we have a pirate spell bomb main? No. Alright, research disc. Find us some fucking removal spells. Give me a fatal push. Okay, Fury, you work. Fury pitching what? I think this Fable can go... No, maybe this Renin 6 just sucks. Is that Fable or Ren? They're both kind of bad. I think Ren's worse though. Ren 6 just seems abysmally bad. All right, look at us. Killing it, killing it out here. Uh, okay, what am I doing this turn? Am I thought seizing? Am I, I think thought seizing goif is like reasonable. <sighs> also playing fable is kind of reasonable. I think that's what I'm doing. I know they can equip the chip, but they equip the chip. I'm, I mean, I don't know. There's, I don't think the line is hoping that they can't find a way to kill, kill us with the chip. All right, goodbye, Fury. Don't kill me, please. Don't have another Urza. Please, 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 please. No, don't fuck. Ah, damn it. Should have fucking equipped the chip. Or should have fucking thought seized. God damn it. Ugh. Exclamation point deck does it for you. God, that's so annoying. All right. Well, how do we win this game? Don't knew. Probably discarding Goyf and Besage you here, because I need a removal spell for this Urza, or I am dying. One, two, three mana? Probably for like a, what's a, the, the three mana thingy? Oh. Oh, and you just found, that's reasonable. Reasonable, reasonable, reasonable. All this stuff is reasonable. Reasonable draws. Okay. Yes, okay, but Seiju is definitely more important than Goyf at this point, so. Great draws, great draws. Please block with your Urza. If they don't block with Urza, I think I'm conceding. I think I am conceding. I should thoughts use first. Okay, we are so dead. All right, <laughs> research disc. Find us a goddamn fatal push, or I'm conceding. Okay, they found the line. They found the line. Good for them. Okay, Urza deck. Mm hmm. I think all this stuff is fine. We're probably playing like basically the same. Same way as if this is something a little bit different. Well, where do you want to take? Oh, Bolt. Goodbye. Need to make two more cuts? I don't love the disc, bro. What do you Maybe like, I think that's like reasonable. I think that actually makes smart. You know, I agree with you. Bring Bolt back in, trim my two inquisitions. Okay, mm we'll keep it. I'm not in love with the hand, but.
like it's kind of like awkward right because turn two is not as simple as it looks like it could just be a play i'll probably play a rend on an empty board yeah let's play out running six on an empty board and before spell pierce <laughs> And before Spell Pierce. Oh, you're a green deck? Bro, what? Bro, what? Yep. It's fine. Urza Saga? Give me an Alpine Moon, please. That counts as good enough. That counts enough for me. I guess I should have played that off of Saga and like pretended like I have a spell. I know I don't, but like still one of those things, right? Like you probably should do that. You grab a reality chip, I'm not gonna kill your stone forge. If you grab Cauldra, I probably will though. I don't really wanna I know I can deal with Cauldra with Spring or uh, Shadow Sphere, but like I'd rather just not. Yeah, that's fine. I could slam two whiffs. I'm doing that. Nope, 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 nope. I don't think we're winning a game that's going super long, so let's just finish the game. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, out the door. Playing a chippy, a chippy chip. Horrible, fun, fun, fun. Hey. Alrighty. I am annoyed. What do we got here? Okay. Not great. Probably grabbing Springleaf Drum because I want to be able to play out this Urza Saga and attack. And this allows me to hold up Terminate. Whereas getting Shadow Spear, I wouldn't equip it this turn anyway. I guess I technically can, but like I just don't think it's really that worth it. Can I just get like an Engineer Explosives on one? That'd be pretty dope. Should probably grab Pithy Needle for EE, I think. I guess I can grab Relic here. Relic's also pretty good. Just like, oh. Okay, they don't have a green source yet. Yeah, I gotta kill this. Oh my god, that's so awfully annoying. I don't think I can let them kill my Saga, bro. Get the fuck off me. Uh -hmm. Oh man, how do we win this game? Oh god, this is awkward. I need to terminate something, I think. Cause I think it gets really awkward if I draw a spell. And then I can't double spell or something without letting them draw a card or something strange like that. Or I can't activate my Saga. It's like Haywire Might is reasonable. I think Reality Chip's more of like the card we're actually gonna lose to though. So I'm gonna kill the Reality Chip. So I think we're actually just gonna lose that card if I don't kill it.
Like, I just actually don't know how I beat that card. Unholy Heat. That's a good one. Attack with my Tarmogoyf. A double block, a oh, jump block. I think I'm killing this Haywire Might here. Get your little two life going. Bah! Well, now we're dying to this card. New card we're dying to. They think they they are the aggressor. Interesting. I would disagree with that assessment, but that's just me. I would. I would evaluate that you are the one who is trying to not lose here. God fucking damn it! You're not drawing the best. Okay, it's fine. Uh, now you're the chump. I guess I'm quipping the Tarmogoyf because then they have to block everything on it, so... And trade a construct. Alright, go to four. Yes. And I do... do. They'll think about mm. That's good. Oh, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, turn off all yields. Let's yield to the end step here. What are you grabbing? Shadow Spear. That's good. Sure, equipping it here and then what? Weird attack, I guess. Attack for seven. They're gonna go to eleven, but then we're shipping it, and they are, they're gonna have to make some weird blocks here. I think. Oi. I guess you could fetch, tap, equip here. This doesn't even seem that good though. Give me a removal spell. Mm -hmm. Yes, this means I'm just equipping to a construct. <sighs> Can I get a... I would take... Oh, interesting. Yeah, give me a spell. Spell, please. Yuri, you count. Okay, let's think. So they have, how are they blocking? If we send in just regularly. Wait. I think I go Fury, kill, kill, then I attack with everything. They are forced to chump block two creatures, right? Kill, kill. Block here. Yeah, they, ha they have to double block regardless. Okay, yeah. Forced to double chump. All right, and like this is the problem with them assuming that they were the aggro player because they are definitely not the aggro player And now I feel like they've just punted the game away like with that attack like 10 turns ago or whatever the heck it was Like they're not the aggro they're trying uh, the longer the game went for them the better like when you have a fucking Urza on the battlefield You're not losing that game more than likely Oh my god I don't think we should have won that game 
It's okay, though. I mean, I don't think I'm changing anything. Fury has been good. Actually, the more I've played it, the card that's been the least impressive, I think, has been Fable and Lily. But Fury has been quite good. I guess let's just all listen to music while we're... There we go. Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not amazing. But Colgon's command is good. <laughs> I might unholy hate this. I might not. I want to give myself the option. I might just like, if they go. Oh my god. Fucking Urza Saga. Oh, no attacks. Oh, they have that stupid counter spell, don't they? Alright, let's just play into it. I'm not getting my Ren countered. Yeah, draw your card, play your stupid counter spell. Yeah. No, ma'am. Yeah. So we can go Kologon's command, kill both Urza Saga tokens. It's in that's a live with my pain. I think that's what we're doing. I think I'm just holding up K command this turn. Kill both the things. And like if they they float them in and get a thing, play Urza, then I can go kill, kill. Okay, well, that's not what the plan is. Let's just do it now before, I don't know what the fuck they could get, but. I just don't want them to like do something weird. I could have let them get the thing, but I, I don't want them to untap spell pierce my fucking Kologon's command or play a blue land and spell pierce my Kologon's command, like. Or exactly, get, them getting spring leaf drums is also like kind of a good example of what might go wrong. I'm going to win Fable, Fetch, play Spring Leaf Drum. Fuck. All right, yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best play. Turning our awful hand into spells, and then we can grab Haywire Might, kill the Springleaf Drum. What the hell am I listening to, bro? Don't think Portable Hole is winning you this game. Be my guess if that's what they're like considering. <sighs> Prismatic ending might be a reasonable, like a reasonable play, but genius smith. That's actually a good one. Maybe you can find them a land. No, but they can play that. Horrible hole. All right, all right. That's like a pretty reasonable turn, I think. Hmm. Right, let's see what's going on here. Probably gonna grab Haywire Might. All right, yes. Then I said, geez. So, so, so. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what's going on. Oh, you have that combo shit in your deck. Get the portal home. Ah, oh, shit. That was a mistake. I should have picked up the saga from my yard, not played that one. Whatever. Getting distracted by a text message from my brother. <sighs> Yeah. So no. Are you gonna play and equip a shadow spear to this? That call and I behave. I'm so. Guess you can play another spring leaf. No. Eh. Let's see what they do. I am fine with pinging your S percent with my Ren. I also think if I'm going to play this deck for the weekend, I kind of want a Pithy Needle in the deck. I don't know. I hate when I have like an Urza Saga and no Pithy Needle to, to use. Sure. You equip here, I'll block, trade, and then just besage you this. Yeah. Besage you the Shadow Spear. Which I'd have to do after combat. For, in order to kill the Ingenious Smith. How's it going, Bunny? Aha! Alright, so we went 4 1. 